On a similar note, over 20 people have been reported dead in Makweni County as heavy rains continue to wreak havoc in various parts of the country. On Sunday, five people were reported dead, including a pastor of the AIC Church and Kilome MP Thudius Kidua Nzambia's brother. As Makweni residents decry lack of a bridge, Interior PS Raymond Omolo has asked Kenyans to move to safer grounds. Winfrey Owino reports. Residents of Makweni County are counting more and more losses, including deaths caused by floods. On Sunday, five people were reported dead as a result of the rains. Kuru <laughs> Kupitia jia yote ile ni kavudhu. Kwa hivyo serikali tunaomba usaidizi. Na tunalia, tumakua tukilia kwa mda mrefu. Kwa hivyo tunaomba serikali musaidia. Of the five, four bodies have been retrieved and taken to different morgues. Among those who died are Mwina Nzambia, a brother to Kilome member of parliament, Tadeus Nzambia. In Kilungu, a 16-year-old girl who just got her results last week also died after the house she was sleeping in collapsed due to mudslide. Maji ya metushinda kabisa, na nindataka kufuka ni meshindo. Nilikuwa nafanya kazi hapa kabodo, sasa nimewacha kazi, nataka kuenda kulima huko nyumbani, mutiambua siwezi fuka, maji ni mengi. At Kalamba area, a priest of the AIC church and one other person lost their lives while trying to cross a river. The clergyman's body was retrieved while the search and recovery of the other body is still underway. Another body was also found in a nearby dam. Reports indicate deaths in Makweni County have crossed 20 marks so far. Majority of the victims have reportedly died while crossing River Muoni in Kavothu. <laughs> Residents say the lack of a bridge in the river is not helping as county safety officials urge residents to avoid crossing the river when the water rises. However, Interior PS Raymond Omolo has urged Kenyans to move to safer grounds and urged county governments to collaborate with the national government in ensuring the safety of Kenyans. We are experiencing more than average rainfall, what we are calling the El Nino phenomena. And a lot of our people are in distress. As we do that work, we want to appeal to Kenyans, particularly those who live in the lowlands, that you listen to our government officers. You listen to the instructions so that we move to safer ground. Meanwhile, the bodies of three Mombasa County officials who died while unclogging a drainage at Makupa roundabout have been retrieved. So this whole stretch will have to be uh, cut off. We have notified, uh, I've asked the team to make sure that they work with Kenha because they're the ones who had done this road. We'll be left with no choice but we have to cut open this particular road uh, to avoid um, a mishap like this again. Governor Abdul Swamad has pledged to oversee the renovation of drainage systems to ensure free flow of rainwater during this season. When free or in OKT News. After the break, floods wreck havoc as casualties pile.